I'm Fred Danso Amwakon, BSC Agric and a former What Do You Know champion. What Do You Know is the mother of all quizzes in Ghana and I'm a former national champion. I'm currently a student of the law at the Faculty of Law, Wisconsin International University College, Accra. Wisconsin has three campuses. The main campus which is located at Aboba, near the Legon Botanical Gardens, a city campus which can be found on the premises of St. Paul's Lutheran School, near GBC, and a new campus which can be located at Feyase in the Ashanti region of Ghana. I recommend you choose Wisconsin. Hello, welcome. I would like you to subscribe to this channel. Topic for today, Farming Systems 1. What is a farming system? There are a lot of definitions for a farming system. But I will use one that many scholars use. It is an integrated set of activities that farmers execute on their farms under their resources and circumstances to maximize the productivity and net farm income on a sustainable basis. I will take you through the elements of this definition so that you appreciate the definition better. Elements of a farming system First on the list Integrated set of activities. They are the various sets of activities that are interconnected, that are carried out on the farm. One activity has an effect on another. These activities are linked up, they are various. They are numerous. Assuming a farmer waters his crop, the watering doesn't only affect the crops, it also affects microorganisms in the soil and also affects the soil itself. Assuming that the microorganisms in the soil are able to grow very well and are able to live, it will help in soil aeration. And soil aeration will help in the growth of the crop. An activity a farmer is doing will have impact on other activities. These activities are interconnected. Next point, execute. When I say execute, execute means do, perform, okay, and also implement. As a farmer, you have to do the various activities that are expected of you in a farming system. Execute is an action, something a farmer has to do. Next on the list, resources. What are resources? They are inputs used to create or accomplish things or help provide services. Bear in mind, Resources are inputs, so you need a resource in order to do something. It is an input. An example of a resource, land, labor is also another example, and capital. I will illustrate the resource with land. The type of resource you have will also determine the type of farming system that you are supposed to carry out. Places where land is scarce, 
Shifting cultivation cannot be carried out. You live in a locality like this, where it's very difficult to get land. It will be difficult for you to practice shifting cultivation in this locality. But on the other hand, assuming another person lives here and there is vast land, yes, practically it is very possible to practice shifting cultivation here. Therefore, the type of resources available will determine the type of farming system you undertake. So the farmer shifts here, shifts, shifts, shifts. Therefore, shifting cultivation is available here. Resources have gotten bearing on the type of farming system you want to undertake. Next on the list, circumstances. Circumstances means situations. It could also B. Conditions. Your situation will determine the type of farming system you undertake. Let me give you a practical example. There is farmer A who sells nails. He has two customers who have been buying from him on a regular basis. Okay. These customers come to Farmer A for snails on a daily basis. But now, they've decided to be vegetarians. Definitely, they will not be coming to Farmer A again. And Farmer A too should be in business. Now, this circumstance will now let Farmer A change from snails, so snails cancel, to crops. So that he can be dealing with these customers. Therefore, the circumstances or your situation will have bearing on the type of farming system you should be undertaking. Next on the list, maximize productivity. When we are talking of maximize, we are looking at how enhanced, how large something will be bigger than previous which means at first it was small but now it should be bigger it has been enhanced that is maximized a farming system should always maximize productivity bear in mind productivity simply means efficiency how efficient a farmer is is the farmer's productivity your best possible outcome your resource that is your productivity okay productivity too could be also expressed as output over your input your resource over what you invested that is productivity. And farming should always aim at productivity. So before selecting a farming system, you consider the one that will be more productive. Next on the list, that I'll tackle. Point five is net income. Farming is a business. And business deals with profits. Net income deals with profit. Your net income is the profit you, the farmer, have or the farm business has after all expenses and allowable deductions. That is your net income. It is the profit the farmer or the farm business earns after expenses and allowable deductions. An example of an allowable deduction is tax. Tax is a deduction that is allowable. In other words, your net income is the residue of expenses 
and allowable deductions. What is left after all your expenses and allowable deductions is your net income. And it does with getting profit. A farming system should aim at making profit. Finally, sustainable basis. When I say sustainable basis, it means that being at a steady level that what you have earned will be enough for you. It will not be exhausted. It will not finish. So, assuming you've gotten $1,000 or 1,000 Ghana CDs as a farmer, will you be able to live on this? Will it get finished so easily? Then we are talking about sustainable basis. In a farming system, you should be able to get income that will be able to sustain you as a farmer or the farm business. Thank you very much.